here if you wanted to, and Consulting Co. Do you want to learn how to manage your Zoho One application? Well, in these tutorials, we're going to show you exactly how you can do that and the most important ways to go about managing it. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how you can go about setting up your own domains in your Zoho One account. So stay tuned and let's log in. All right, so let's go ahead and add your domain now that we are logged in. So if you come over here to the settings tab, that will take you to our directory over here. And you can click on this domains heading. So over here, we have the ability to add different domains to our account. This means we can actually have multiple domains to our account, which is really cool. So for example, we have demo2.clientrick.co, but we could have clientrick.com, we could have clientrick.co, we could have clientrick.ca. You could have all your different types of domains that you have, and you can even have other domains. So if you just had a separate business, so let's say we had a construction business, construction.co, whatever it might be, you can add those domains in and add in those users with those specific email addresses, which is quite nice. So in order to add in a domain, you click on the top right over here and then you can add in your domain name. So in this case, let's just put in generic consulting co. So we can add that in now and it's going to give us some steps and instructions on how to actually map this domain to our Zoho One account. So it gives you an option to use the text method, the scene name method, or the HTML method. Now when it comes to text records, you can sign into your domain hosting site, open your domain management settings, and then add in these items as the name and the values. After that, you're going to click the verify button and you're going to have to wait potentially up to 24 hours is what they say. Normally it usually happens within a couple hours of us actually making these changes, but that is how you go about doing that. You can create a C name record using the same method as the text and then change this name and the values to what it says here. Now, lastly, you can use the HTML and download this document. Then you can upload it to your root level of your website and then it will verify it as well. So there's a few different options and each of these you do have the ability to learn more about. For example, you could click down here and that will take you to a new page with the text method. Then you'll have the C name method down below and then you also have the HTML method in a little bit more detail. So then after that, you could just click verify and obviously Obviously we haven't done anything, so we're not going to verify it. So you can cancel that and then come back to it in a little bit and you can actually verify domain here. So that's going to be one of the more important pieces is that you just go through and click verify once it's done. You can also delete it over here if you wanted to as well. Now that's it for adding a domain to your account. You can add in as many as you like. There are no limits, but just make sure that you don't get confused by them because I know people have a lot of domains out there. So make sure you're only using the ones that you actually need, because if you don't need them in there, it's not worth your time or trouble to have to sift through all those. So that's it for this one. Make sure you subscribe to our channel below, like and comment on our videos. We want to make sure that everyone's getting this content as soon as possible. And that really helps us reach more people. And as always, feel free to join our other social channels like Instagram and Facebook. We're building an awesome community and we can't wait to have you there. Bye for now.